and I'm an outlier. Sydney can be hard to read, that is all. Well. Here's a conundrum. Well, the fate has a strange way of surprising even the most jaded amongst us. You're not nearly as unfeeling as you pretend. Well, if that is the case, I would ask you to keep it to yourself. I have a reputation to uphold. Does a certain person know yet that you were in love with him? He's spoken for. Oh, yes, I know about Mrs. C. She will have a chink in her armor. We just need to find it. A man cannot step into the same river twice. You ever heard that? It's Heraclitus. Yes. Of course you know that. I don't believe that anybody is truly ill suited to marriage. I suppose it's just a question of compatibility. I suppose you're right. We can safely say we have found Mrs. Campion's Achilles. What is it? <laughs> you. Yeah. Keep your back straight. Miss Hayward is hardly likely to find a kindred spirit in this company. You're quite right, Mrs. Campion. I'm a farmer's daughter who reads books. What could I possibly have in common with anyone here? Wait, 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 wait. I only ask for a moment. What is it you want from me? Please, be kind enough to leave me alone. I'm a great deal less than perfect. You've made me all too aware of that. But for whatever it's worth, I believe I am my best self. My truest self. When I'm with you. How did you know that he was the one? I think one just does. You want to tame her, do you? I believe she's tamed me. Yes. You just imagine how that might feel. And what are you waiting for? You haven't taken your eyes off her all night. At last. I thought I'd never get you alone. I've never wanted to put myself in someone else's power before. I've never wanted to care for anyone but myself. Man that is born of woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. Eighty. Eighty thousand. I will see you in the debtor's prison. I'll be as quick as humanly possible, but I have to do everything I can to help the family. How I manage that, I have no idea. And when I return, we finally have a chance to finish our conversation. Oh, Alison. It is possible that my future, too, could rest on Sydney's swift return. I had hoped that when I returned, I would be able to make you a proposal of marriage. But I cannot be. The fact is, I have been obliged to engage myself to Mrs. Eliza Campion. How are your own wedding preparations? Elaborate. Should not a good marriage be based on mutual love and affection? Without a quality of affection, marriage can become a kind of slavery. I'm only sorry that Sydney couldn't be here to say goodbye. Tell me you don't think too badly of me. I don't think badly of you. I don't love her, you know. You must not speak like that. I wish you every happiness. I wish you every happiness. Excuse me. <laughs> you 
You must not lose heart. The race is not yet run. When it comes to love, there is no such thing as a foregone conclusion. Can we not rewrite our history if we find it disagreeable?